Okay, there's the White House. Mm -hmm. This is the White House. Where the helicopter lands okay. right here in front of the back of the White House. This is the hallway that, that the president walks through here and goes to his personal residence right here. And oh, that's the where the personal uh, residence isn't in here, it's over here. Right, and there's the Oval Office. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that. So this is the Oval Office. Mm -hmm. This is a miniature model of the White House. Okay, this is this is the front of the White House. Okay. And on top, this is where the snipers stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a residence. Yes. But I thought the residence was in the White okay. House. Okay, this is the so. miniature version. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the back of the here's the back of the White House. This is where the this is where the helicopter lands. Okay. You walk through this hallway. This is the this is the president's suite, and there's the Oval Office right here. Okay, I thought this one. Okay. So the Oval Office. Okay. Well, here's they say, here's the 46th president, which is not accurate, guys. Okay. That's that is new. Okay, here's the wall presidents. Okay, and then down here, look at the end, guys. 2017, where is Mr. Biden? Okay, that's the last president. Where is Mr. Biden? Not there. Okay, that's fact. Okay. Free speech. The President's Park. Okay. This is Constitution Avenue. Looking down. Constitution Avenue. There's the White House. You know, looking all the way down. Okay. The President's Park. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Remember, never forget that the White House is owned by the American people and they're in states, okay? The White House is owned by the American people, by President Franklin Roosevelt, okay? Take a picture of that. Are we not taking pictures in here? I would imagine. Okay. This is William Clinton State China service plate over here. And that's the mantle clock right there. Okay. And this is James James Hobbins desk. Okay. Alright. Hmm? Yeah, gonna. Okay. Okay, this is the landscape. Look how pretty. This is Lafayette Park at one time. Um, the president's home. Moving day for President Obama. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. 
here is whose chair is this? Um, President Hayes's chair. Um, President Grant's gold ring is right here. Okay. Radio of the White House purchased Emerson radios for the bedrooms in the second and third floors of the White House. Okay. Hmm. Exercise equipment, a bowling ball. Um, this is the chair of the First Lady, Claudia Lady Bird Johnson's chair, right here. I guess this is some of the food that they like to eat. Jelly beans, cottage cheese, salted almonds. Oh, somebody took the rice pudding. Rice pudding is gone. And squirrel soup. Okay. Um, First Lady Claudia Johnson, 1963 to 1969. These are her children. were her children. And that's President Obama. Uh, okay. Let's see here. This is the state rooms. President Gerald Ford's chair. Okay. Okay. That's it was President Clinton. Calvin Coolidge. President McKinley. Jimmy Carter, George Bush has steak dinner. President Nixon. President Obama. Double George Bush. This is the flagpole. In 1998, the White House flagpole was replaced by one topped with the um, patriotic eagle. So, this was the the flagpole in 1898. This is the presidential desk of Franklin D. Roosevelt. Okay. This is the mantel clock for um, President Grant. Um, it was re relocated the cabinet room in 1969. Okay. And his paperweight. Okay. This is a black, a black walnut was part of the set purchased under President James A. Polk. This is a chair from President Lincoln. This is um, a place setting for the state dinner for Queen Elizabeth. Okay. 
I don't know how many kids know how to set a table anymore, but this is the correct way. Okay. And this was to, this was um, with President Gerald Ford, 1974 to 77, gives a tribute to Queen Elizabeth on July 7th, 1976. Okay. First ladies, okay. Look on who is the last first lady here. One. Okay, oops, there's a Claire. It's Melania. So, where's Dr. Biden? Nowhere to be found. Okay. Hmm. Pictures of the White House. Okay. This is the White House. Okay, this is, let's tell you, um, this is soup tureen purchased by President James, James Monroe, 1817, it's 1825, okay. I'm reading, sorry, I'm reading this as I'm going along here, guys, okay. Hold on one second, guys, hold on. One second. Sorry about that. I was dropping, dropping my jacket, my purse, and whatever to get in here. Um, um, let's see. This is the desk of the White House ushers. This is used in the White House ushers' office. In 1902-1948, it had an intercom system, and that could contact various parts of the building where President Woodrow Wilson was, where when he sat at his desk, and signed a document declaring war on Germany on April 6, 1917. Okay. trying to show you as much as I can guys um, the secretary of health um, this the statue sat in William Clinton's president Clinton's office okay that's pretty cool Okay. Um, this was the, the centerpiece for the First Lady Julia Grant acquired the silver centerpiece at the Philadelphia Centennial Explosion in 1876. Okay. Let's see. Song machine was Lillian Rogers Parks used the Kenmore sewing machine to make blackout curtains in the White House when it was during World War II. Okay. Um, this is what they used to clip in 1910 at the White House. And this is Abraham State China Punch Bowl. The First Lady Mary Lincoln, 1861 to 65, selected this China service 
decorated in New York in the favorite color purple. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. This is the children's swing that, that swung in various trees on the south ground from the late 1970s till 2010. Okay. I guess they show videos here, but there's nothing going on today. Okay. This is outside the White House. That's it as of right now. Um, I will come back in a bit and see if I can show you some more. Okay. Let's see. Maybe they're showing a the video now. Little by little, we can trace the history of our country and see the legacy. Oh, we don't need to see him. Woven into our past and present. Okay. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Okay.